Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So Mirror Jewels has made a return to game and we're going to try our luck in a rift. Let's go. Okay, so I lied and we're actually going to do three runs in total because I cannot stand looking at Legendary and Eternal Crests in my inventory. They are basically burning a hole in my inventory and I have to use them straight away. So we're going to be doing three runs in total. So we have um, a few, so we have, what is it, 12 Legendary Crests and 18 Eternal Crests. So we're going to run one run of Legendary, one run of Mixed, and lastly, one run of Eternal Crests with the mirrored jewels active now the reason why i'm doing the eternal crest with the mirror jewels active is because obviously the uh, copies will be bound so i'll be able to use them on gem upgrades and the original copies will be all unbound so i'll be able to sell them so this is how we're going to run it and this is what i normally do as well um basically i haven't done any crest runs since my last crest video and I do generally save my crests to record so that I have something to upload for you guys because I know quite a few of you enjoy watching these crest run videos and seeing what drops because I seem to have quite good luck compared to a lot of players with Elder Rifts. Um, so yeah, this is what we're doing today. So boss is about to spawn for this first run. Let's see if we get any white beam here. And sadly, it is not a white beam for this run, but you know what? It isn't the mirrored run, so it's not the end of the world. Let's see what gems we have. Hopefully, we've got some decent amount of two stars and not just all one star gems. So first run was not that great. We've got two two star gems and the rest are one star. However, both of those two star gems are ones that I can use in gem resonance on my upgrading, uh, on uh, my upgrading, on my existing, cannot get my words right today, on my existing five star gems. So let's head into a second run now and we're going to be using a mixture of the Eternal Crest and the Legendary Crest. So we have just two Legendary and eight Eternal Crests. Let's see how this run goes. So we had the bonus attribute pop up there, but I never bother selecting one of them because I am happy with how my build works already. Um, so this is my farming build that I use for Elder Rifts. It's super fast to just run through with this um, and makes it quite easy. A lot of control with this uh, build as well. So um nice and smooth to run at dungeons with and also um elder rifts and open world as well now for this we have a couple of modifiers on this rift so we have the poison gas and we also have the landmines i don't know what they're called but they are basically like landmines so they obviously explode if you walk over them and um if you get that modifier, just definitely try and keep moving as much as possible because they can cause a lot of damage to your character. Um, and yeah, they can take your life out really quickly. Now, I went up there hoping there was going to be enough monsters to make the boss spawn, but I was like one short, as you can see. Um, so boss is about to spawn now. And let's see if we get this white beam this time. Okay, we have the white beam. What is going to drop though? So this is not my mirrored run, unfortunately, which probably means my mirrored run won't have much luck. Um, but we do have a couple of five star gems here. So we actually have two. So we have a four out of five wolf here, which is amazing. So I'll be able to use that for mine when I upgrade it to rank six eventually. And echoing shade. So that's one for everyone that was moaning about me destroying it in my video a couple of days ago. Um, we have one back. <laughs> So if I do need to use that in my Blood Soak Jade at any time, I have a copy that I can do that with now. Um, both of those five star gems are sellable. However, I'll probably keep hold of them for now. Um, the Wolf Hilt, like I said, I definitely will use. Um, rank six, I'm not planning on doing anytime soon for that gem. However, having that higher quality one will make it a nice upgrade. So this is the very last run now. We have just 10 Eternal Crests remaining and we're gonna run this as our mirrored run and hope for some decent luck. Now, as I said, we've just had two five-star Unbound Gems drop. So I doubt we're gonna get that this time, but we can always live in hope and yeah, see what we do get from this run instead. Um, I don't know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get too excited for it. It'll probably all be one star gems now after that luck that we've just had. Um, but I'm still so happy to have gotten both of those gems. Um, and also I find it really funny because like I said, so many people were mad about me destroying Echoing Shade and the game's just given me another one anyway. So <laughs> it's like I've got rid of the gem and it's come back to haunt me forever. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, I probably won't sell those gems. Um, the Wolf Hill or the Echoing Shade. I'll keep it for now. Um, if I do ever manage to get Bloodsoak Jade up to rank 9, I can actually equip Echoing Shade into that. 
So it's probably worth holding on to just for that reason alone. Right, boss is here now and we finally have a different one. And let's see, are we gonna get a white beam for my mirrored run or have we run out of luck this time? So no white beam, unfortunately. And um, it does look like we have a decent amount of two star gems though. It doesn't look like it's all one star. So this might not be completely awful. Um, sometimes when I've done these runs and I've got all one star gems or like just one two star, it's so frustrating, but we've actually got five two star gems. So that's amazing. So I've got 10 of those in total and obviously I'll have 10 one star gems as well because this was my mirrored run. So that's actually not such a bad result. I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. Um, couldn't have really asked for much more after those five star gems dropping. So that is it from me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and as always, thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.